Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 24. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our Open Loop Style Boost Control Inner EMU Black software. So, Open Loop Style Control is going to be allowing us just to program a duty cycle in an open loop duty cycle table to achieve a certain amount of boost. This is going to be the simplest way to work with boost control within our EMU Black. We're going to be talking about all the different ways we can implement the boost control on top of just this basic format. We're able to do it gear based or speed based, also applying scalers based on coolant temperature and intake air temperature so that we can make sure the boost is consistent in various conditions. So we're going to have a lot to cover. Let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our open loop style boost control in our EMU Black software. So before we jump into the training tutorial, I want to make sure you have your main tuning page layout open so you can follow along with what I have on my screen. We can find that under desktops, open desktops template, and then going here under main tuning. So this is the option you want to have select it in order to see what I have on my screen. We're going to move from our setup page and across here into boost. In this boost page, this is where we have all of our boost control parameters grouped together into one nice screen. So we're able to access and tune either open or closed loop style boost control from this window here, and we can see everything that's going on. So it's going to be strategically the best way to go about working with your open loop or closed loop boost control. So let's talk about what we have on screen here. We'll talk about the general idea of how open loop style boost control works. It's really simple. And then we'll start to jump into how these tables are going to interface with each other. And we're going to be doing some just little basic demonstrations so you can see the cause and effect as we're programming them and then how to go about tuning the open loop style boost control. So um, what we'll find here is we have our parameter section. This is background details for the boost control, so things that we need to make sure are right and configure right for the type of solenoid we're running um, and what kind of control strategy we want to be using, as well as setting up some of the, the actual uh, strategies that we want to have in place. So if we want to have a low and a high boost or a boost blending with a trim pot switch, we're able to accomplish some of that background programming right here in the parameters. And we're also going to have a PID parameter section. This is for closed loop control, which we're going to cover in the next video. So this is just dedicated to open loop. We're going to be skipping over this in this video. We're also going to have our two different gear scalers. This is going to allow us to increase or decrease boost based on what we're programming here in the table. We'll talk about how that works when we get to that, that, that section of the video. But we are going to have two different profiles that we're able to actually switch between. We're going to have our actual control tables over here. Now, they're going to have a target table, and they're going to it's going to have a duty cycle reference table. We're going to see that in open loop, we just use our duty cycle reference table. In closed loop, it's going to be tying our target table here together with our duty cycle reference table. And again, we'll cover that concept in the next video. But essentially, what we need to focus on in this video is just going to be the duty cycle reference table here. Now, there are two target tables, target table one, target table two, duty cycle reference one, duty cycle reference two. We can go and switch between these two, and I'm going to be explaining how that works in a couple different control strategies. So what we're focusing on, essentially what we need to really look at in this video is going to be just the duty cycle reference table and ignore the boost target table. Now we're also going to have some scalar modifiers here um, against our duty cycle reference table. We have an intake air temp scalar, so depending on what the intake air temp's at, you might want to raise or lower the boost through the duty cycle control. We're also going to have a coolant temp scaler as well, so intake air and coolant temperature. We're also going to have a speed-based scaler. This can act as a speed-based boost control. Just the same way we have our gear-based scaler, this can accomplish the same thing. We'll talk about that again once we get to that specific section. And then we also have a duty cycle air correction table. This is going to be used in a... In a Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.